Hi guys, EVP Man here with Tablets for Me. Uh, today we're going to do a feature comparison between the Rockin' uh, Roller from Monster and the Ion Block Rocker from Ion. Both of these models are the 2015 editions. They're the latest in their lines. All right, so taking a look at, we'll first compare the front panel of both of these uh, speakers. In the front, you'll notice that the actual uh, Monster um, has a smaller control area. It does have two lighted LEDs that if we press this button, you'll see they do. it does light up. How important that is to you, I don't know. Is it a buying deciding factor? Um, I don't think so, but it does have those LEDs if you're looking for something that has that feature. Uh, both units have up to six preset channels. Here's the six preset channels for the FM, and so does the um, block rocker. However, the actual monster is only an FM uh, solution, and this solution is actually an AM-FM solution. So it does both. Um, again, uh, not, I don't know how important that is going to be to you, but it does have more features when it comes to the radio. Uh, both of them have two USB ports, and this one has two USB ports right here. Uh, these are actually covered because this solution is actually um, water resistant. I haven't been able to find what IP certification it is, uh, but it has these plugs to prevent it from light sprinkles um, being damaged. The ION is not. If you were to look at uh, here also the aux plug, it has one aux plug here, um, and it's again covered with this little uh, plastic protecting it uh, from the elements. And here though, the ION not only has one aux, but it also supports a microphone. So you could use this uh, as a PA, which this unit doesn't. So again, that could be a contributing factor to how you decide which one you want to go with. Uh, you have one knob here for volume control, and you have a visual indicator of what the volume is as you can see there and with the ion you really don't have any kind of visual indicator telling you where your volume is at nothing on the display which is a little disappointing but you do have the knob and you can hear when you change the volume you do have two knobs uh, because one is for the mic and one is for the unit itself uh, if we were to look now at the uh, bluetooth capabilities both of them have bluetooth capabilities and you can see them right there but the one difference with the actual ION is that if you have another one of these speakers, you could use the link function to link two of them together to play uh, them at the same time. You cannot do that with the Monster. Now the Monster looks very ruggedized and you can see it um, just based on the look, um, but also they've made some changes with the ION and the ION here has now these rubberized corners which used to be metal and uh, silver. Now they're rubber and black, so it's giving it uh, that look. The actual um, other part that you see here, where maybe the ION has one step ahead of the actual uh, Monster version, is that you do see your battery charge in the front display. Uh, for the Monster one, you have to go to the side to actually see it. So um, I would say that that's, that could be a differentiator for you as well. The top tray for both of these units, um, this one has a slot, which only allows you to put one device. Here, you can actually rest some devices, one, two, maybe more devices. Because of the USB plugs, you can actually plug them in and have them sitting here. So uh, they had this kind of slot feature in the previous version, uh, but they discontinued that feature and went with the wider tray, which I like more. Uh, connectivity to Bluetooth, both of them have pairing capability, but the ION has an NFC uh, tap. So um, you don't really use this often, but when you do, all you have to do is tap and it's done. There's no visible um, antenna on the Monster, but the actual ION version has this, this tail that comes up that is rubberized, so it will not break off when you want to get a better signal. Um, in the front, both of them have two 8-inch um, speakers and a 3-inch speaker um, in the front, and both of them have rolling wheels. Now, this specific unit has a handle up here, uh, but the actual ION has, instead of having a handle, it has a side grip on the side, and it's pretty deep. If you watch my hand, you'll notice how deep it goes in. So it makes it really easy to have it one-handed, and because this tray is here, it makes it easy to support. Both of them have retractable arms that come up on each side. Uh, that didn't come out in the video, but they both do, and they're both, um, I would say, com comparable in that area. They both have rolling wheels as well. From the height, they're slightly, uh, or almost the same height, except that the monster is just a slat, a slat, I would say a slight bit taller. You can see that right here, how it has, um, it's a little bit taller. Um, you do have this arm here, unlike uh, the ION, which uses the side grab to grab the actual uh, speaker if you're going to be carrying it and not um, walking with it and in the rolling wheel function. 
from a side perspective, if you look at the side, there's really nothing. The Ion is a, a clean design. There's really nothing on either side. On the Monster one, you do have your LED indicating your power meter, and I'll turn this on again so you can see it, showing you what, where your power's at. And um, the actual plugs are protected for the elements. Now, this one does support the ability to serve as a pass-through. So if you have this plugged in and you want to plug other things into it, you can. It will not support electrical items when it is not powered on its own, so it cannot be used as a battery backup for large electrical items. So this is just serves, it turns it into an outlet. Um, in, in essence, the ion does not. But think about this: if you are tailgating, if you are at a at a park um, somewhere where there's no electric plug, this becomes irrelevant and not real useful. If you are in your backyard though, and you're powering the actual uh, monster solution, you could take advantage of those plugs to plug in other things. From the back, you'll clearly see the actual extendable uh, arms that both of them have. Um, the monster one has it kind of built in so you don't see it. The actual ion has it on the on the side on the back so you could actually see it here. Um, pros and cons to that, well, if you do run into an area where you damage the actual arm, um, you're really going to have to take apart the unit to actually main, provide any maintenance. Here, um, you'll notice that it actually is easy to separate because it has the screws here and this unit would come off. You can see the wheels on uh, on the bottom will pan down a little bit so you can see the wheels. Both of them have wheels, so that uh, makes them pretty even. The Monster has a nice Monster logo on the back, and overall, it looks good from all sides, uh, but so does the Ion. So now the next or last part of the review, now that we've gone through the actual unit completely, both of them, is sound quality. I can tell you, and you can look at the videos that I'll include links on them um, on this video, that I find that they both sound similar. They're both the same to the human ear. Now, sound is one thing. Volume is the other. I do find that while this unit here is an 80-watt unit and this is a 50-watt unit, this unit is louder. Ion is a louder speaker. So if you're looking for loud, this is your speaker. Uh, I do notice that because this one goes louder, depending on the music you're playing, and if you go all the way to the top, you could experience some distortion. So what I'm going to do is just share with you and, and play back. I'm going to use the same song on both speakers so that you can see the differences on how one may be um, louder than the other. All right, so here goes our audio test. I right now have Bluetooth connected to the Ion, and I'm going to play the same song on both sides. I'm going to go from low to full blast, and I want you to hear the difference. So let's go ahead and start the song. This is no volume. That's full volume. Now here's the same song or beat actually played on the monster. I want to start from all the way from zero. So we have zero. I want to increase the volume. As you can hear, you can still hear me clearly. I don't have to yell too loud over the speaker. The actual ion is louder than the ion, than the monster. Now, if you can tell the difference between the audio quality, I don't know that I could. Um, if you're looking for something that's loud uh, and, and sound is going to carry, then the Ion has the monster. This concludes my video comparison of the Ion Block Rocker and the Rock and Roller from Monster. They're two good speakers for those of you that are looking for a tailgating solution or something that you can have to play music in your backyard. There are some differences though and I hope that this video has been able to help you decide which one is the right speaker for you. They're both available online as well as in your local Costco and Sam's Club. The Ion is running around $110 now. Uh, on, it's on special with a $30 discount, regularly $149. And then the Monster is at $169. There are any discounts available at the time. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them on the YouTube channel. As always, don't forget to share, uh, like, and subscribe. And if you have, again, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.